Aren't cool robot suits like Iron Man's suit made up of nanotech? How can we use that kind of power to help with renewable energy? Nanotechnology is used to produce solar cells with high energy conversion efficiency compared to traditional silicon solar cells. Much of the heat energy delivered by the incoming photon is lost as heat through hot electrons which cool rapidly. Hot electrons are known to stay hot for longer in nanomaterials, just giving enough time to capture them and direct them to an electron conductor. This results in more electrons and therefore more electricity is generated when hit by a photon of light. According to a journal from Brown University, engineered nanomaterials are the key of the current generation solar cells. For example, semiconducting nanocrystals are used in multiple exciton generation solar cells. Nanotechnology also helps in making the wind energy sector work better and more efficiently. This can be seen in the applications of a wind turbine. The energy provided by the, by the wind turbine is proportional to the square of its blade's length. Nanocomposite materials enable them to have bigger and stronger blades. Steel parts can be boronized to add more hardness than traditional carburizing process. The borided surface is able to withstand more friction with less wearing. The combination of the two, carburizing and boronizing, will give parts to some parts that have significantly increased their wear resistance. This material helps by reducing the forces such as strong winds that will otherwise break the wind turbine itself. Nanotechnology is used to generate hydrogen energy. Clean hydrogen is produced through artificial photosynthesis. The produced hydrogen then undergoes electrochemical process where it combines with oxygen without combustion. This reaction produces direct current electricity. For example, fuel cells like or PEMFC attracted attention as a clean source of energy for automobiles and house applications. Besides, different catalyst supports such as tungsten carbide, nano diamonds, and carbon nanotubes are used in production too. There's also another potential renewable energy, nuclear fusion, like the sun. Research on nanotechnology brings out the importance of it, fusing isotopes of hydrogen to form helium-4. It also produces low amounts of radiation, meaning it is safe for public use and also takes environment conservation into consideration. Nanotechnology can definitely help us to care about our nature. This is because it can help and potentially stop the damage to the environment.